And the China's youngest city is turning three. Friday will mark the third anniversary of the establishment of Sancha City in South China's Hainan Province. The city was officially established in 2012 to administer the Xisha, Zhongsha, and Nansha Islands and their surrounding waters in South China Sea. Meanwhile, scientists are calling for strengthened governance in the South China Sea Islands to secure a sustainable future for coral reefs. They say that amounts of coral in the area have declined. By at least 80 percent of decades of economic expansion and coastal development, our reporter Han Bin looks at how scientists are addressing the challenges. Monitoring the coral reefs in the South China Sea for the past decade, Chinese scientists have been closely watching the coral habitat on the seabed, and their findings were alarming. We found there has been a rapid loss of coral reef habitat in the South China Sea. In some offshore atolls and archipelagos, coral cover has declined sharply to as little as only one percent, and the dire problem continues. A beautiful predator, the crown of thorn starfish, feeds on coral polyps. A plague began in 2006 and quickly spread. Rehabilitation is the only method for restoration, but that takes time and money. Zhang Yuyang showed us their coral breeding project. They collect naturally fertilized ova and attach them to construction material. The aim is to increase survival of baby coral in a natural environment, but they can only grow about a centimeter in length a year. Sanshan's islands and reefs are in fact living coral. Damage to the atolls means the fishermen will lose the source of their livelihood, and the eventual disappearance of the islands themselves. But starfish are only one of the enemies. There is also climate change, destructive fishing practices, pollution, and economic development. This is the first travel company offering services for the Xisha or the Parasol Islands. A company official says the route was opened in April last year, and they want to expand to other islands. The reason the Xisha route is popular is not just because people want to see the country's sacred, mysterious southernmost territory. They also want to enjoy the original natural scenery without too much human exploitation. Sancha is unique among all other tourist routes. With the Sancha speeding up construction, more facilities will be available to accommodate visitors. The city is also planning for more ship routes and logistical support for opening the islands and surrounding waters. Many believe it won't be long before Sancha becomes known as a South China Sea tourist destination. A major challenge for the Sancha government is to find the right balance. Sancha's tourism should not be developed so fast as to create new burdens on the ecological systems of the islands. The concept of environmental protection should be deeply embedded into our minds. Zhang Yuyang and his colleagues are waiting for the baby corals to grow. They are planning to eventually transplant them to the offshore waters in the South China Sea. He says the best restoration is preservation. He knows their task is even more challenging with Sancha's rapid development, and protecting the ecosystem is crucially important not just for now, but for future generations here. Han Bin, CCTV, from Sancha.